So hi guys, welcome again to my channel and again it's me Raquel. So for today's video, we are going to learn how to cook a lechon baboy or bisaya lechon baboy. And I will also teach you how to properly control your fire without burning the pig. So you need to watch the video until the end because I will give you a lot of tips on how to do it. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos. And of course, please share it to your family and friends. Again, it's me, Raquel. You have a wonderful day and enjoy the video po, mga kababayan. Bye! So hello guys, as for today, I'm going to show you how to cook a lechon baboy using an electric rotisserie. Unless you are lucky enough to own one, you can find a local rental store that has them. But I'm not sure if we have one here in Utah. But then, you can always um, check it online. So first, I was not able to take a video of what I did with the charcoal. So you need to have at least uh, 20 pounds of charcoal briskets. So what you will do with your charcoal is that you need to spread it into two even piles on each end of your spit. And then you need to light and let it burn down until the coal is ready. So mga kababayan, dead pigs are really heavy. So it needs to be well secured so that it won't flap around as it turns. Kaya po, you need to make sure that you strap the spine to the spit rod to ensure that the pig stays secured. So wag nyo pong hayaan na hindi po sila isi-secure. Kasi baka ma mahulog po at magkadisgasya, hindi tayo makatuloy sa ating paglelechon. So at this moment guys, you need to prepare an oil and occasionally basting the pig. So what I did is I prepared a regular oil, a canola oil. So I prepared like 3 to 5 cups of canola oil and then basting the pig by using a barbecue mop. So you don't want to uh, use your hand in basting your pig. No, no, no. So you need to have that safety first. So you need to remember that. Tanin nyo ang baboy sa kong likod. Galit siya may. Keron. Ako maplasan mo. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So guys, don't forget to take a break as well. And then I was just going to tell you that the advantage of having an electric rotisserie is that you can sit back and relax. But as for my case, I wanted to achieve perfection all the time. So for me, I'm tending it more often because it's better than burning your pig. So this time guys, this is the third time that I'm rubbing an oil to the skin pig and watch me as the videos goes on. So remember that I showed you earlier the technique on how to do it. So at this time also we figure out that the juice of the lechon baboy is starting to leak out from the pig. So we need to stop it right away. And so my friend Nick is preparing a cork stopper made out from a tree branch because it's the only resources we have at that very moment. So if you won't take good care of the juice then your lechon baboy won't taste as good as you expect it to be. So as you notice guys, I added more um, firewood at the butt area of our lechon baboy because I wanted to achieve that crispiness later on when I'm done cooking my lechon baboy. So it is important to add 
a little bit more of firewood especially in the butt area because that is a little higher than the shoulder area so it doesn't um it doesn't the, the fire doesn't reach the butt area as much as the shoulder area so you need to uh, remember that all the time so just so you know guys that we are cooking 65 pounds of pig so the length time of cooking this one would be around three to four hours so it depends on how big is your lechon is and then like for example if you're cooking 20 pounds pig then the cooking time is lesser than the 65 pounds so you need to remember that and you also need to do the math okay so you might uh, by the end of the day, you might overcook it so it doesn't taste good. The ingredients for this lechon baboy is um, spring onion, lemongrass, tanglad. My face is so brown. <laughs> and then um, bell pepper, corn pepper, MSG, salt, um, bay leaves, and of course, um the um did i mention salt yeah you need to put salt on it lots and lots of salt you need to make sure that this stitch you need to stitch this pig really tight right here where you put all the ingredients inside to keep all the juices keep all the juice inside the pig you gotta make sure that there's a proper heat yep Say thank you. Did you say thank you, Tito Nick? Thank you. Thank you, Tito Nick. Yeah, there you go. So here's our beautiful baboy. It's a baboy. Oh, look at the ears, Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Actually, I think that's why another reason they cut them in the Philippines. Yeah. Because... So, yeah, cut like this? Yeah. The things in the Philippines are a lot bigger tools. I know. Really floppy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, like giant. He's a giant. Yeah, like <laughs> I know. I wonder why. What? But then again, guys, we have this stick right here. So you don't want to stick your finger and your hand. Dito sa koan. Dito sa kalayo. Kay. Paso jud mo but anyway, I'm gonna put my thing here. So hi guys, this is the fourth time that I'm going to rub an oil to the skin. So this is just a little retouch. As you can see, I'm rubbing it at the shoulder part area of the peg, the belly part area. And then I'll go down to the butt area and in the back part area so as you can see um, the the pig is still shiny but i'm just doing a little retouch so at this very moment guys i still have the same wood fire that i added a little earlier ago but then if you felt like you needed to add uh, more firewood then that's that's okay um, it's still up to you as long as you control the fire so at this very moment guys as you can see also the skin of the pig is turning red so we're getting there so i just want you at this time to be calm and relax if you think that oh it's not turning red so what happened but then again you're getting there so because uh, cooking a lechon baboy it will take a lot of hard work so you need patience also when you're cooking a lechon baboy Ayaw. so it is important to remember that Ayaw. Ayo. Mao Dennis manang lovely. <laughs> Frank. Hey, nako. Na Frank din nako si manang lovely. Di daw siya pakita sa video kay. Yan mo niya. So right now, action na dito pula. You don't want to burn the outside of the pig before the inside of the pig comes cooked. So you need to move the coals away from the pig if your fire gets too hot. So we need to remember that as well. Marami akong sipon. Sinisipon na po ako ng marami. 
myself. So we need to put more wood over here. In the head and in the shoulder. Head and shoulder and some clothes. <laughs> So guys, if you are using a commercial speed, then the motor will turn the pig constantly at a slow speed the entire time. So as what I've observed, this motor rotates four times within a minute, so I would recommend it. When I was eight years old, I, I always helped my papa to clean the pig and prepare the pig because we have the chunan before that's our business but it's kind of like half half because my uncle his name is uncle Eddie. him and my dad built the little man built the little man and then the ganga palichun sa moa that's when i learned how to cook babo but then again through Well, anyway, uh, yeah, so Dagang Gapalichon Samoa before. Yeah, because I asked for a wood. <laughs> it's okay. I was in high school, like fourth year high school. That's when my, my dad stopped the business, but once in a while, sh he's, he's doing it, and so with my other cousins. So, when you mention our last name, Igama, they know where it is, exactly where it is. And they know that thing is so nice. Aside from kay Nong Hoben. Si Nong Hoben, o akong papa, akong uncle, ang Galichon before. So, Nera, ako na sa Chang Haplasa, no? Kapila na ako nag Haplasa. So guys, I wanted to remind you that you need to control your fire all the time. So as you can see here in my video, I'm trying to point out that the shoulder area is turning red. So I lessen the fire and then work on the butt area of the pig. Another thing to keep in mind about the speed is that it should be longer than you think. Because the pig's legs get stretched out in front of and behind the pig, that's making the total length is longer than you expected so you always wanted to do the mat all the time Kabantay ka kung asa ka to apo dang aso Nagunsa ko anak Hi Talia nagunsa ka Oh na dey bugs So update no Kilo pula na siya but I think um, probably two more hours before niya maluto. Na hindi na lang taka para dili kayo sa wala man ta nagdali karon so ako lang na inay no magluto. So dili sa dinalian relax sa kayo mi kami sa under the tree charot. <laughs> Under the tree. Oh, maglilitan sa ako. Okay, magpahulay sa ako. I would also like to share to you guys that if the pig come frozen, especially if you bought it from the local store, hopefully it will be fresh. Please do not roast a frozen pig. Oh, 
Coast Guard. Coast Guard? Mm. After August, we're gone. Alright, so karon guys, update sa tong lechon. <laughs> ang lechon nato ni Pula na. Tara. <laughs> Pero nawala na ang iyahang buha katiil. Natagak na. Anyway, I put more wood diri kay medyo kulang-kulang pa ang ato ang paa. So, kinahangla na siya maluto. And I can worry kung dili pa kayo sila luto kay later on, mabot rata nila. Anyway, basi balhin na to ang kalayo dito. Ay para mas maiban. So, so far, hapit na dito no. Duha ka oras na nga niluto ay. Huwag paghihapon na luto. <laughs> Pero hinahinay rata kayo wag man ta nagdali. Diba? So, mga na siyang sikreto. So, sa pagkaroon, uh, we need more wood para dire. So, luoy na higang baboy no. Kaya luto na dyan kayo siya. Pero at least, we're almost there. We're getting there. Hapit na dyan siya. Hapit na dyan siya na dito. Hapit na. So, we're gonna put more wood over here. And then over there, go to the other side. And then, hopefully, we're gonna be done soon. So, if you can see, this part still not red, but we're gonna work on it, right? Iba, siguro ko English ang but sabut ba? Kung ano ako sabut sa myself. So let me kiss ano? Hmm, lami an, lami an ka ayu. Kasi talian niya guys oh, niyo di kasi lang. Da 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 da. Ay nako. Pit na mahuman. Huwag na dahil tayo airplane tali guys. <laughs> like every single hour, marag na ay galaba yung airplane tali. Kaya hapit dolo tayo sa Hill, Hill Air Force Base. Diba? Pero, I'll give you an update later on. Kung hapit na dito mag mahuman. Alright. Kalim. Nakalimot dahil ko, mag-judger dahil ko karun. <laughs> mag-judger ko, kaya diha ko best. Best in judger ba ako? Best in judger ko sa... Pagkita ang TL. <laughs> Kana ang pinakakuan. Pinakalami sa tanan. Pero mag-judger tao. Tarang! Maha! Ito so, nagkaon ako ani ganyan ha gamay. Pero magkaon na po tao sa Tugnaw na dyan na siya ba? Or ginilugan na sa gulaan dito. So karon na ana Atong kilawa na maha. Mmm. Pwela. Tamit lang. Mmm. Mas maayog na cheese. Lapte ko yun dito. Oh, bantu gula. Berapa? Tetik berapa? Hmm. Kena nanti buknau, kena nanti. Mayang buknau, mayang buknau. Mayang mah ada dia guys. American mama. The judger of all. Aku ang judger, saya ang judger of all. Oh, ada problem ah. Aku seneng ngat si mana nak anak. Update guys, grabe na dyan kayo ang akong singot na. Nagkasingot-singot na ko. Nagka, ang hirap talaga, magkahirap-hirap. <laughs> so, nara tong nitsyon. Hapit na dyan siya. Hapit na dyan siya. So, ato na lang ning ayuhon ang dire. kay medyo kulang-kulang pa siya. O ang ulo na po. O ang abaga o atong tiyan. Okay, we're almost there. Do guys, siya na luto. Kay kapaliron sa hangin ang kalayo. So, dapat ang kalayo against steady. So, nag-start me 12.18. So, pa doon ang oras is 3.30. Mga around that time. O, pagkaya po siya na luto. Because usually, ang inani ka dako nga baboy, mga bot siya o 4 hours. No? So, depende kaya po sa kainit sa inyo hang. Ay, bug sa kong... Ah! Depende kaya po sa sa inyo hang kalayo. So, kinahanglan nga, inyo dito siya ang kuan. Kontulado dito ninyo ang kalayo para dito siya masunog. O niya, kabalo mo sa inyo ang gabuhaton. Because that's very important. Kabalo mo sa inyo ang gabuhaton. O niya, 
usually, pag init hindi kayo, nang ano nyo, spread ang kalayo para dili siya malut. Dili siya mapagod. Diba? Alright. So, karun, almost done na dito. We just, we just trying to make this crispy in this part. And then we're ready to go. Diba? Diba? So, grabe dito siya kalamit. Kanaan na. Mm, yum! So, init na siya gaya akong naong. Grabe na yan. Sunog-sunog na siya akong naong. Mag-appeal akong mga fats. Kakahilis na. <laughs> diba? Diba? O, oh, diba? Inawan ninyo akong gabuhatong. So, like, subscribe on my channel. Sa mga na address America, just like, share, and subscribe. So, di natin siya sunugun kay sayang ang baboy. Tato siyang lutuon o sakto. Diba? So, kinahanglan siguro ni sayaw, gamay. Okay, para maluto na. But I bet you, lamit ni siya. Anyway, again, daghan na kayo tagkahoy nga na impas. <laughs> Are you okay? Why were you shouting? Not lagi. Diba? Tanawa ang likod. Tanawa ang likod. Crispy pas. Crispy pas. Charot. Alright, I'll update siguro po niya guys for us off karon magkabisi-bisi sa ako, magkasingot-singot sa ako. But anyway, kapit na ako malubat. Ako sa aning ati manon ang baboy. Alright. Alright, so hello guys. Ang atong lechon as of right now, update lang. Tapos na po siya. It's done. So, oh my gosh. Abi na. I thought there's a wolf. <laughs> Abi na ako wolf ni Castilan. Abi na ako wolf ni. I thought he's a wolf. So I was like vlogging and he came from here behind the lichen. I was like, oh! <laughs> so it's done. So as of right now, wala na kayo fire. Only the charcoal, charcoal na lang ang naa. So ang charcoal na lang ang gadala, ang galuto sa baboy. So I put a little bit of fire dito sa, sa butt just to make sure na makrispy siya gamay but usually ang butt area dili dyan na siya crispy usually dili but uh, the, the shoulder the the shoulder the tummy part and the head um, they're usually they're they're crispy so as of right now it's it's done it's cooked already and uh I hope it's perfect because this took me a while to cook. Okay. Kind of a perfect dish. Make it perfect. Um, this one is really crispy right now. As you can see, it's really crispy. Diba? It's really crispy. So. Oh, diba? <laughs> And then that's that's part of it. But this one, don't get, don't go crazy with the with the neck. That's that's how it is, you know. Sa yung neck kasi hindi yan na ano na hindi siya natatamaan ng apoy minsan. So don't get, go crazy if it's not crispy. That's that's normal. So here it is. So we're gonna probably cook it a little bit more. And then sit it a little bit. Para mag cool down siya. And then we're done. So make sure to like, subscribe my channel. So, and then I, if you're done doing that, don't forget to watch my video too. This is Bisaya Lechon. Done in Bisaya way. So here it is. So it's done. Alright, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And then watch my YouTube channel. Because I'm so done. <laughs> Look at me.
napaig na sa Bisaya pa. Okay, bye! There you go! Judger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the third judger. <laughs> <laughs> the third judger. Then then we start happy. Good The third judger. Nick. What is Nick? Nara o sa likod mo. Nick. I think the first judge need a second round. <laughs> right, second round. How is it, Nick? Good, huh? Crispy. Yeah, and the first judge. Oh, what did I do? What did I do? I did it. What did I do? I did it. 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 Ayo. Huh? So good. Ayo. The third judge. <laughs> the third judge. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm taking the judge. You want some more, Nick? Here you go. And the fourth judge. Stop it. Huh? Make it taste more seasoning. Make it taste more salty. Let me go. Let me Let me go. 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 Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel, and watch it. Bye! -bye. Bye.